So hi guys, yours truly and we have Mr Tim Powers here. This is part two of the Communication Between Dates series. We're going to be doing six episodes. Uh, we've already kind of set the scene, with that. we had a bit of an introduction, why is um, texting, communicating, why is it important to learn stuff, why can't you just treat them like a mate down the pub um, and so on and so forth, or anybody in any situation that you might be meeting for the first time, you exchange contact details at a conference, meeting, a potential new client, a, a friend, you go to a social function, you, you know, you're at a football match or whatever. Um, this is different. Correct. Agree. Uh, so we're going to deal today with the uh, basic nuts and bolts after the first approach. You know, so we're going to get real. Uh, we're going to get into the weeds, into the details of how to deal with texting after the first approach up until the first date. To see you got the date. Um, before we do, uh, I'm just going to plug the approach course in June. The June approach course always is, tends to be the most popular one. We've already had two bookings for yep. that. So we've got four, maximum of four. Three, five is the ideal number. Um, so don't delay, book early to avoid the disappointment. Um, that will be the last weekend of June details here. Um, so yeah, now, Going back to the basics, um, the guys may be asking themselves, well, okay, has anything changed over the last 10 years? They might be a more mature dude, they might have done a course or read a book 10 years ago, um, and they're like, well, you know, don't you just, um, you know, once you've got the number, send a text, how are you? hope you managed to buy that dress. Did you manage to buy the dress that you were shopping for? Da -de -da -de -da -da. Uh, I, let's me. I'm free on Tuesday. Mm. Th yeah. That's quite a good illustration of probably the worst text that you could write after an approach, isn't it? Probably yes, yeah. It makes sense for us men, because we're logical creatures that we are. Yeah. We'd just be straightforward, wouldn't we? Yeah. That's the kind of text you send to me, and I'd be like, yeah, okay, cool. Exactly right. Minus yeah. the dress. Yeah. <laughs> well, we. Yeah. Well, in this day and age, we could be of a variety of ge gender. True. Uh, Denominations, such that. That um, is true. The fact that's I find that quite an offensive comment. Do you? Yeah. Do you need you're a being safe space? You're being gender. Gender. What's it? Gender racist. Um, Genderist. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm being a. Um, are you in a? Are you in a job? Have you got an employer? My, I, I could fucking well write to them, write to my clients. I, I could absolutely, yeah. Right, there I you go. I could absolutely bring you down, bitch. Yeah, we've just won a like carefully that. targeted nuclear message with a ping. Get me cancelled before I started. Yeah. Well, I guess I should just worry about causing offence the rest of my life. Pregnant pause. Pregnant pause. Fortunately, he's not pregnant though. Even though it's 2024. Well, fortunately, pregnant pauses can be edited. Oh right. Well, okay. I'm going to leave this one because what you've just seen is an illustration of a classic text, a classic opener after you've got a girl's number. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so the answer to the question of things changed? No. It's still the same rules. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, it's quite obvious. And very, very few guys after they get a girl's number are sending messages like that. Yep. Um, now, before we come on to break that down and why it works, mm -hmm. uh, let's just talk a little bit about what has changed in the last 10 years. Sure. Which is, you know, that, when I was at, that extract is from uh, a girl that I got on the first boot camp I ever did in my life. Um, I got, uh, I met a South African girl, I read my book, Kaching, Too Late Nate, and she was really cool, and that was the one number that I got that then actually was really strong. Right. It was with John Matrix, actually, on, on a rainy afternoon in Westfield Shopping Centre in West London. Um, 
back then, I got a text number. It was all SMS. Mm -hmm. So talk us through, Tim, what a guy will do in this day and age after at the end of the approach when a girl's willing to exchange contact details yeah. with him. Yeah. Okay. There, there's How does he close? There's there's a few different ways you can close. So back in the day, it would be SMS. That was pretty much the only choice. You could hypothetically exchange email, maybe, but it's, it was much simpler back then. Whereas now, there's different mediums of communication that you can exchange. You've got you've got Instagram, potentially based on where you, in the world you are. There's Telegram. There's WhatsApp, Viber, even Facebook Messenger. Typically, when it comes to closing, there's two variables at play. WhatsApp is a more personal type of close for girls. It means you're getting their number. I always used to advise WhatsApp to guys in the old days because WhatsApp meant you were getting the girl's number. You didn't want to be a friend. And it's easier to ping and text yep. on WhatsApp than it used to be on SMS. Yeah. Because with, with SMS, uh, there wasn't you couldn't get a flow because it was one message and then the next day another message or right. a couple of messages. With WhatsApp, you can boom, 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 yeah. yeah, sure. Um, and S SMS isn't really an option I'd recommend for anyone anymore. But uh, WhatsApp used to be personal and it, and it used to mean you were asking her out as a woman and all the rest of it. Times are slightly changing now to the point where Instagram is a tool that can allow you to maintain top of mind awareness in between text messages due to its story function. There's, there's, there's a, dis a story function which is disappearing content. For example, let's say me and Alex are in a swanky bar in Chelsea on the 60th floor and we, we maybe we take a photo, we automatically let the girl know what we're up to without having to send her an individual message. Instagram is also a less personal form of contact information that the girl may be happier exchanging. But that's point one. But point two, here's the crux. Most guys, unfortunately, have a terrible Instagram. And this is a topic for a later video. Right, yeah. Okay. And this is a topic for a later video. You want, ideally, you want to curate your Instagram to, to display masculine traits. Doing man stuff, you know, being seen with girls. That's, that's for a later video. But anyway, yeah. Um, so... But I see the problem there, the, yeah. the, the real danger. The modern it's, challenge. It's not a simple question. Do I get her on Instagram or do I get her on WhatsApp? Yeah. Are those the only two options, realistically? Hypothetically, Telegram, Telegram but yeah, yeah, for the guys we'll be coaching. And uh, yeah, and just keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. Uh, don't get clever. Exactly. Um, right, fine. So, um, one further point is that. You are, I just want to clarify that initial point first so that guys are absolutely crystal clear on it. Yeah. Re realistically, you've got. Uh, Two options: Correct. WhatsApp or Telegram. In, in Instagram. Two thousand and WhatsApp. Tele, in, what, WhatsApp slash Telegram. WhatsApp slash Telegram. Or Instagram. Or, correct. Yeah. In uh, today's dating age, two thousand twenty-four. Um. Yeah, and we would advise guys on the course. I would take a quick look at a guys' Instagram if it's no good. WhatsApp. Yeah. Fine. Or Telegram. Um, or Telegram. Now yeah. Facebook. Facebook I've never used personally. Girls do sometimes float Correct. it. Correct, yeah. I, I've never personally used it, it's just not a medium of communication I'm, I'm familiar with. For, for the older dudes it is. Um, I'm no longer on Facebook, um, but uh, which I'm really delighted about. It's made my life so much easier and I've not gone down that nonsense hole. It's, all, yeah. it's such, a time, such a time sink, uh, mm. Facebook. But anyway, uh, some people do still use it, and um, g girls might suggest it. I mean, as you'll see from the books, particularly the 52 First Dates series, I, I had girls, and yeah, Facebook, and yeah, sure, it can work. Um, it's a little bit like Instagram, because you've also got your own story on Facebook. Exactly. So, but, um, but in 2024, I would just advise guys to stay clear of it if a girl offers you Facebook just say look I'm not on it yeah. I don't do it it's a time hole I'm a successful busy guy I don't have time to mess, to mess around on, 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 on Facebook and she'll probably then say well what about Instagram and then you'll have to address with that, address that issue as well but anyway sure. the point is 
personally forget Facebook is my advice on that. Yeah. Now, what a, what if a girl, sometimes I've had this, particularly mature guys, you meet a girl, it'll be a really good conversation. Often it'll be um, a, with a girl in her 30s or 40s, it'll be more, it, perhaps an intelligent, cool conversation, but it perhaps steer away from the sexual and you'll end up being faced with a business card with a, a business number. Right. Yeah. Um, I would clarify right or there. Or an email then. suggestion. Or a suggestion that you stay in touch on email. Yeah. What's your view there? Well, the the way I would deal with this is the same way I deal with any time. I'm, I guess the underlying challenge there is you're presented with a medium. You're presented with a medium of communication that it feels inappropriate for the situation you're trying to create. Do you say that? No. But I would paraphrase it and I'd say, I'd say this. Like, maybe, maybe I wouldn't say these exact words, but I'd, I'd say something like, look, uh, yeah. I've, I've approached... Oh, so, um, uh, but anyway, it's been nice talking to you. I've got to catch my train. I've, uh, yeah, yeah you've been the girl. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. Well, look, lovely to meet you. Look, another time I want to take... But look, before you go, another time I'd love to take you out. Cool. Well, let's stay in touch. Here's my... Do, do you have... I'll give you my number. Okay, I'd be, I'd be happy with that. Sure. Uh, no, sorry, I got that the wrong way around. <laughs> so, what's your number? I'll give you a call. Uh, okay, look, look, I'll tell you what, we'll exchange WhatsApp. Um, you, you got the QR code? Um, Let me I show tell you. you what, Take out your phone. Here's my business card. Okay, look. Email me. Mm, e- email can work weirdly, but so, but I've never, personally, I've never had that. But if I had it and it felt inappropriate to me, I'd say, look, I've approached you because... When I first saw you, you looked like an attractive girl. As we've spoken, you, you seem like an attractive girl. Now, let me make I am now feeling pretty creeped out. Let me. But I mean, it's powerful. 2024. It's good. Now, now let me make something clear. I feel like in that movie Tootsie with Dustin Hoffman. Let me make something clear. I'm not talking to you because I, I want to... This sort of stuff that goes through cotton wool, stuff that goes through girls' heads whilst <laughs> they're being chatted up. <laughs> I'm, I'm, in, I'm in role, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let me just make something clear. I'm, I'm not... I'm not talking to you because I want a business contact. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay, but I want to keep I want to keep in touch over WhatsApp. That feels more appropriate to me. Okay, well, fine. Well, here's my number. Okay, fine. We exchange WhatsApp. Okay, so that deals with that one, dudes. Now let's just go on to look at the opening text themselves. We've seen the earlier one. This is a lovely South African girl I met. Uh, teased her massively. I guessed that she'd been to a convent or Roman Catholic boarding school in South Africa, guessed correctly. It's amazing how sometimes in the approach you can make it, throw in a random assumption and it, it, you actually hit the target, hit the bullseye. So I had a lot of fuel basically for texting exchange and obviously for this opener. Um, then, uh, have you got anything to say about Perhaps the timing, how quickly you send a message after the approach, um, and, and just around that initial stage up until, sort of, let's say, 24 hours afterwards. And what do yeah. you do? Okay, sure. So, well, Although you're experienced, so yeah. bear in mind. Yeah, if you meet her in the day, I would say text her within any time within two hours, but that emotionally, she's going to be feeling the feeling of that approach and that will gradually start to peter out in the day. So I'd, I'd probably say even within the hour. Um, if you meet her at night, let's say you're out with your friends, it's fine to text her in the morning. That's the, the general advice. And then the zoom out advice is text her in your own time. Just the zoom out advice is when it feels appropriate when you, you're literally looking yeah. at your phone. Well, we'll deal with that because yeah. we're going to do an, a, an episode on advance yeah. um, communication and texting um, and kind of making the model your own and kind of breaking the rules to a point but in terms of nuts and bolts do it on the, the same day you get the number absolutely yeah at, at least I mean you may be a busy guy at work all day in meetings or in court if you're a lawyer or whatever so fine you don't get around to texting it till the evening but do do it on the I've trialed this right uh, and seen what difference it would make and I've yeah, it's best to do it on the day because of the reasons that you yeah that exactly. you've stated. Okay, anything about the actual content of the texting itself? Sure. So yeah, uh, anything to say on the basic open? I mean, the ma- the main thing is not to answer questions. Correct. Um, and to 
you know, just, I mean, use this classic. Why not just use the classic text? Uh, are you usually just friendly to new people? And if you can call back to, to something that happened during the conversation and call, like St. Ha, ha, uh, St. Trinian's Girl, uh, yeah. you want to be maintaining the vibe that you set, that you created on the um, during the daily approach. Mm -hmm. um, if you've got not her name, if not, hey you. But you know, uh, keep that keep that simple. And then if you if you get uh, if, if she engages, good. And we'll talk about that. A, a, um, a little bit later in this episode. If um, she doesn't engage, then you ping in a, in a day or two uh, a, a, yeah. a ping that is just simply a situational ping, which is adding value to her life by sending an amusing photo or callback or something about yourself. Agreed. So, those are anything to say about those yeah. very early basic yeah. opening stage after yeah. the approach? The thing that's so clever about the, hey, it was fun and random meeting you earlier, are you always so friendly to strangers? And you, the thing that's so clever about that, variations of that, where you're essentially saying the same thing, is it's a non-sexually overt flirt. A massive mistake guys will make in the opening message <coughs> is being too overt in some way. A like, hey, sexy girl in the red dress or something like that. Yeah. And the thing is, the most important thing when it when it comes to seduction one of the most important things is is not being sexually overt with girls too early on and, okay and the reason for this is the most important thing a woman has to protect is her sexual reputation the worst thing a woman can be called is a slut and if you are sexually overt you are subconsciously communicating to her that you do not have the skills required to to protect her sexual reputation mm. and therefore you're communicating that you are not a suitable mate yeah that's really interesting <laughs> even if you just want a one night yeah well what about it was just a one night stand same thing apply yeah i believe so a hundred percent because the girl the girl the, the girl will probably only consider a one night stand with even the guy so. that has the, the skill so to in a way even more so absolutely okay cool that's very nice so let's now just um, move on to um, before we get onto the date request. Let's just have a look at where guys go wrong, and this is where I went wrong with that South African girl. I mean, it was a good text exchange, and I managed it reasonably well, actually. If you look at the text exchange in the book, but um, I did send. But then she sort of just she's one of these girls who just went off the radar. For some, something obviously happened in her personal life. You feel a bit needy and hurt, even yeah. though it's something nothing to do with you. Fine, that we, we, we're human, but you've got to actually feel that, but then text something different. And it's difficult when you're in a bubble. That's why we have WhatsApp group and guys to absolutely to bounce off. Yeah, yeah. So we don't do the need, don't do the needy impulsive thing. Anyway, in this instance, I did do the slightly needy impulsive thing, and I sent this. Uh, message here which was just a little bit needy hey the other guy ha ha um, but it could have been worse I could have said oh is it me what did I do wrong question mark and, and a big thing to be more aware of just as is the case at the beginning of the approach when you're making assumptions and generating attraction so too for the texting don't be asking lots of questions too early on now look, nothing wrong with questions, you know. Yeah. But it doesn't ask. Well, the, when you ask a question, you're asking the other person to provide value. Remember, you're the one seducing her. You, you don't. She's not really going to want to be seduced on the basis that she has to put all the effort in. You want to make the texting process as easy as possible. When, for example, I mean, I just going off on a tangent but I'm gonna bring it back I coached a student and he was always asking me really long questions it was, it was slightly infuriating it's the same it's the same with women instead because the, the emotion that's been provoked is not an exciting one instead we want to provoke emotions that remind her of the way she felt when she met you on the street intrigue yeah. mysterious yeah. excitement yeah yeah that's I mean that's a general good rule to bear in mind is remember how it was on, on the street 
and you're worried about what to send, just make sure it's consistent. This is why it's good to take a voice note after an approach or to put details in your phone of what you discussed after Absolutely. an approach so that you've got some grist to the mill. You've got some totally. tool, some ammunition, as it were, um, for the text, to deal with the text in crossfire. Agree, 100%. It's a great idea for guys. In terms of the um, the way to handle different types of texting, my um, belief is, and although I reinvent the wheel and I and I have done a new probably will be re or are re reinventing the wheel, I still think that the, the the classic advice that a lot of guys in this area give out stands, and that is uh, if you know. If you're getting a logical text exchange with the girl, tweak it in a fizzy, flirtatious se sexual yeah. direction. If you're getting nothing, silence, then kind of ping some real value into her life. Um, about, you know, show a window into your funky life or connect it with something that, that was spoken about in the approach and you're gonna, you've got to really add value. Mm -hmm. That's it. Um, or sometimes, not always, a ping is the way to do that. The other, the other classic thing is obviously the frame test. Um, if you if you're presented with the frame test, right, pass the test. You don't need to then go on. You, I mean, some guys love to. And for the advanced texting, we'll talk about the poetry of texting and how to really enjoy it and get into it. Um, but most guys like the golfer on the, once he's got the ball onto the green he just wants to put the ball in the hole yep. in as few a strokes as he can pass the test and then roll off is usually good advice and then of course the fourth thing that she'll probably be doing nearly everything that you get back from a girl will fall into one of those four categories is uh, well she's positive and in that case uh, yep. we go for the date request and we'll finish with the up with the date request but just before we get there anything you've got to say in terms of tweaking that basic um, you know, mm. categories of reactions of girls basic categories of for the beginner for the is that a good do you agree that's quite a good way to approach yep I, I do agree with, with that yeah uh, the good place to start and guys absolutely got, got a clear yeah they can then look at the text and see where they are yep. the the one thing is as well with the ping is it it doesn't require a reply so therefore it's not a low value message yeah that's exactly right if she's giving you silence or you know or, or frame testing you or whatever um, don't give her something. It's, it's very subtle, isn't it? Yeah. If you ask a question of a girl, so what are you doing? It's, it weakens an otherwise statement such as having a funky bowling yeah. tournament down the, on, on, a, on my, my free Friday night with mates and you see a, boat, a, a bunch of mates and a bowling alley. Yeah. yeah. You don't then say, what are you doing? Which sure. weakens it. You let she's far more intuitive than you are. She know, she's going to respond if she wants to respond. Yeah. She's not. She's not. You don't even ask her to respond. Oh, and please respond to me to no. pull my needy hole in my soul. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So finally, the date request. How, how should guys? Yeah. When she's texting positively, you're getting a good response. What should you do? I think it's always wise to keep some kind of idea of a, what I would call a yes ladder in mind. Similarly, in the way that you would get a girl back to your place for the first time, you don't you don't meet her and say, "Do you want to come back to mine?" Straight away, you you she she'll uh, slowly become more compliant over the night. Let's all right, take a seat here. Okay, give me a hand. Whatever. Yeah. And so, what should same, guys put in the and the in, same thing? In, yeah, in the text uh, in the text exchange, you you want to use some kind of compliant yes ladder. So, one example is. I've got a, by the, speaking of, speaking of such and such, this is a smooth way you can do it. Whatever the last topic was, um, speaking of yeah. Victorian, England. Blah, 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 Victorian England, I've got a fun idea if you want to hear it. Intrigue. At a charming old bar in the old town. But you wouldn't even go, yeah, I, I've got a fun idea if Fine. you want to hear okay. it. Yeah. And then she goes, yes, and you go, depends if you're this type of girl or that type of girl. Depends if you're alcohol or non-alcohol type of girl. Depends if you're coffee or tea girl. Depends if your preferences are this or this. 
and then she says they're this and then you go well fantastic by the way random have you been to this place before and she okay. says no and you go great i've got a new i've got a new surprise i was thinking to check it out tuesday night if you want to be my partner in crime fine it's, that that's nice and that's yeah. a nice clear texting ladder towards a yes absolutely and the alternative is you can once she's the conversation's fizzy you know you say hey you have, how do you fancy uh um some more witty banter exactly. with a british guy yeah um let's meet for a co- spring summer cocktail uh, um i'm free tuesday or thursday which suits we so often see students um really butcher this it's a very simple thing don't ask a girl when are you free don't just suggest one evening yeah. don't suggest for the first date a saturday night you yeah. know just a sunday afternoon or a wednesday evening because something like that but always yeah. suggest two dates because one day she can say no exactly two dates she won't if saying no is too much it's like you know you've offered her two dates yeah it provokes her to suggest a date that she can make if she can't make those two dates and much more subtle is when you say when are you free you're handing over the control to her right yeah the frame and she does and, and she does like the phone want... asking her to put her number into your phone yeah and Here she doesn't go. and she she wants you to lead she yeah. wants you to have the control yeah so it's not like a weird we're not talking some weird feminist like we should be controlling everything but she wants us to control the frame because women are attracted to masculine behavior oh sorry yeah you're talking about yeah, don't ask the girl when she's free. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. At that point, yeah. Um, Tell her. Yeah. Give her an option. Yeah. Um, give her an option and say what suit, which of those two options suits you. Exactly. Okay, guys, that's all for now. The next vlog will be um, Mind of the Gap, which will be dealing with the uh, navigating that communications gap or the gap between dates from once you've been on the first date and then you know it can be a lot trickier than guys realize particularly beginners they get quite excited that they've got a date now there's still a, a, a lot more work to be done it's good because she's now bought yeah, in yeah invested there's more work that there's needs more to be work done. needs to be done so stay tuned for the next episode don't forget mr powers who's now uh, you, you've got your youtube channel fizzing i saw you've already got like two thousand views for a video that's only six days old um you know go to his channel check him out is uh, you know really now focusing this business divorce to dates so uh, as a little plug for you uh, thanks man for you tim and and yeah i mean I, I i see a book at some point coming out of these texting yeah um, yeah, we'll be talking, uh, yeah. this texting series I think there's just so much in it exactly so much to learn um, as far as the communication between dates is concerned so that's goodbye from me and goodbye from me cheers dudes cheers drop on your balls you bastards